Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you're doing well and Scorpio if you're new here my name is Joe and I will be doing your reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements, okay? As usual, uh, please do keep in mind my readings are timeless and they are general so just take whatever resonates, leave the rest behind and the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention. That's why they're timeless and that's usually how it works. Do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the previous readings that I've done for your sign. But uh, more than anything, Scorpio, do check what other signs you have in other placements, mostly Moon, Rising, and Venus. And then you can go ahead and check out some of the readings that I've done specifically for those signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you at this current moment of your life, sometimes that happens. And it usually means that your messages are just simply coming stronger from those placements. It all depends on your current life path or journey. Last but not least, please do subscribe. Hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support the channel and help it grow. And thank you. Thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed and for your kind donations i truly appreciate all of your support all right scorpio all right let's get started all right scorpio you've got the moon as the starting energy of your reading or the current energy that you're dealing with or will be dealing with soon or the heart of the matter, and the moon is uh, Piscean energy. I'm sorry, I was gonna say, I don't know what I was gonna say, Cancerian. Some of you might be dealing with cancer or have cancer in your chart, I don't know. But uh, anyway, moon is telling you, um, as I was saying, Piscean energy, it's telling you, Scorpio, that it's time to probably answer to some type of a higher calling here and not to fear it okay you see this domesticated dog and the wild wolf you know the domesticated dog is howling at the moon just the way the wolf has done for many generations and uh you know this is about you letting your inner wolf shine something about you responding to this divine energy Breaking free from beliefs, uh, all beliefs, from dogmas. Okay, that's why, that's why it's a dog, you know. Uh, maybe you're meant to break free from some type of uh, dogmas or beliefs uh, that don't uh, help you anymore. They don't work out for you anymore. But it's also telling you about, you know, there might be something you're not seeing. Um, some type of secrets not very clear about something you might have some type of doubts fears and insecurities about it uh, I think they're telling you not to be afraid just uh, I think you just have to go through this stage of darkness okay and understand that it's meant to be for now and just embrace it, just embrace the mystery and don't fear. Crossing you, challenging you, block, blocking you is the Six of Pentacles. So you are dealing in a situation where I guess you don't see things. Being very fair, right? There's no, no balance, no harmony. Maybe there's a situation where you have been uh, putting a lot of your energy into and there hasn't been much in return. You just want things to be a little more fair, more just, some type of equal give and take. And you just don't, can't seem to see things clearly about this. I don't know whatever situation you're going through, but uh, you know, I, I can get a lot of, of, of different uh, examples, you know. But all I can see is that you're having a hard time uh, seeing, well, not, you're seeing something that's giving you a hard time. You're seeing that things are not being balanced 
in fear somehow. Okay, interesting. Hmm. The energy is crowning you, your conscious mind, you are worth this is the hangman. This is more Piscean energy. And uh, Scorpio, I get the sense that you know, you feel that your world has been upside down, everything has been upside down. You can't get the clarity, clarity about something. You can't get the, you just can't seem to underst understand something. You're trying to figure something out. Maybe you're trying to, I hope you're not obsessing about this, okay? But uh, I get a sense, and I think maybe you do know this, Scorpio, uh, it's time for you to get yourself out of this stagnant energy. Something's keeping you stuck. There's this lack of Maybe you're hoping for something to happen. Are you hanging? Oh. Yeah, you're hanging on a false hope here, waiting for something to maybe resolve so that things would become more equal, more balanced between you and another other individuals. I don't know why I get the sense that this could be a uh, situation between you and other siblings where there has been a lot of maybe a, a parental figure has given to all of you but in, in, a, in a very unbalanced manner maybe this parental figure has created a lot of competition between you and your siblings. If it's not that, this could be in a job environment, a boss with co-workers. Okay, it's the same type of shit. I mean, really. Okay. And um, you just can't see things clearly. You don't know what to do. Uh, something's keeping you hanging. I hope you're not hanging. Hoping uh, on a false hope. Hanging on a false hope, waiting for something to resolve. There's this lack of clarity. Some of you are just probably just waiting to be able to see something so that then you can finally make a decision. I wouldn't be waiting for that, sincerely. You can stay hanging. I think you've been in this for far too long already. It's time for, for you to set yourself free. Maybe that's what it is, what you know, or what you're thinking about, you know, just to set yourself free from this situation. Stop relying on something. Maybe this moon energy is telling you that it's time to gain your power back. How let the moon, you know, answer to this divine calling. Below you, subconscious mind, you're not aware of, and you should desist the mind trying to tell you something. Or well, your guides and angels, Scorpio, you're meant to leave something, you're meant to drop a burden here. Something is keeping you stuck, you can't move forward, you can't see where you're headed to. Something has made you feel that it is your obligation to carry all these burdens with you or to stay stuck in a way of, of being, of living uh, they're telling you it's time to just drop all this stop dealing with it and start, you know, start moving forward the way you're meant to freely without carrying all this shit with you without having to deal with this Okay. This is the energy behind you. Recent past, where you're coming from, what you're leaving behind, or should be leaving behind, or the reason why you're going through this, Nine of Wands.
you're not performing the way you should in the situation. Something is keeping you isolated. It's that nine, 10, it's part of that energy. Because you are so busy carrying these burdens or something has made you feel obligated to do so that you are not being, you know, you're not, you're not putting yourself out there the way you're meant to. You're meant to shine. You're meant to shine. You're meant to put yourself out there and shine and you're not doing so because you are trapped behind this. Whatever the hell it is that you're dealing with. There's some type of fear, insecurities that are not allowing you to, to put yourself out there. And this can be the aftermath or the result of dealing with this. Something not being balanced, fair, equal between you and others. Something about being the black sheep, you're meant to go out there and really show and prove. Not prove to anyone but yourself who you are and what you're capable of, okay? This is the energy that's in front of you where you're headed to or where you're meant to go to in your future for some of you is the Two of Cups. It's time for you to come into union with something that is more equal, more high vibrational. You are meant to change your vibration and so you can come into union with this high vibration energy. It can be a, a relationship, it can be someone, it can be something else, another job. Maybe you're meant to leave um, a family situation, I don't know. But there's some healing that has to happen. And there is some, ty some type of uh, balancing energy where things are more equal give and take. You see how they're exchanging energy? You're meant to be in a situation where things are more transparent. Not in a place where you have to beg to have just a little bit more. It's that breadcrumbing for some of you or it's just a lot of comparison when there shouldn't be any of that. Scorpio, maybe for some of you, it's you have to heal something between you and the other individual where there was this comparison made by the third energy, which could be the parent or the boss. You know, if it's a sibling, if it's a co-worker, if it's possible, maybe there's some type of healing and work that has to be done between you and this other sibling or co-worker. If there was this competitiveness or comparisons between both of you, you know, and if not, it's okay, it doesn't have to be that way, but I, I get the sense that you have to just make peace with the situation. Um, you don't have to talk to anyone, just, you know, accept that people do things because of, the, of their own fears and insecurities. Just make peace with whatever you had to go through and just understand that you know and this will help you it will help you as, as guidance in the future i hear that some of you are even thinking you know i would never or i will never do the same thing to others you know because you already know what it's like and i think that's sometimes a bittersweet thing about these type of situations you know that we have to go through the pain to learn about them to the point where we say, you know, I am not capable of doing or causing this type of harm to others. You don't have to continue with it, okay? I think some of you are meant to break some type of a curse here. 
something that has been happening through generations. It could be. Maybe that's what they're telling. Maybe you're, you are the link that is meant to break this and to start a new type of energy exchange, a different way of seeing things. Okay. Yeah. I was feeling this energy because I was talking about breaking generations. You know, that's how you should see yourself or respond to a situation. It's the devil, Capricorn energy. Scorpio, you're meant to deal with this. You're meant to, this, this is your job for some of you. This is like performing an exorcism to break a curse, do some shadow work, some inner work, face this demon and finally say, you know, I'm done with this shit, I'm done with you, and I am done with the way you do things. It does not work with the way I am. It does, it, it's not, this is not, it's not part of my vibrational energy. It's, it's it's a beautiful reading I, I in the sense I of how you're going to transform this but you had to go through a lot here and that's why we had this in the past also that's the wounded warrior this is you finally realizing yes okay I understand I did go through a lot but I'm not giving up and that's what you're not supposed to do you're not supposed to give up you, you're meant to keep going Stop hanging on a false hope. Stop trying to make sense out of something that is psychologically fucked up. You just can't make sense of something like that. Okay? That can keep you stuck. If you're asking yourself, you're wondering why, what, what's going on? What am I doing wrong? What, what's, what's happening? There are things that it's the moon energy. There are things that are just not meant to be. You just can't have the, the, the answers to everything. You know? You just have to make peace with it and say, you know, it's a fucked up situation. And it's, at least it's not me, the one who's doing all of this. Right? I have to put an end to this. I break this curse. Could be something like I said, generational, you know. If it's something in your family that people, you know, parents do to their children over and over and over again, you know, you're finally saying enough of this crap. This is just damaging the generations. This is the energy that's surrounding you, it's influencing you, it's inspiring you, it's the King of Pentacles. I just felt the energy of someone in your family. It could be for some of you who is very stable or was very stable and they were they became very successful and maybe they also had to maybe they were not able to break the curse but they had to probably just you know put themselves aside maybe you don't have to break the curse either but maybe all you have to do is just, you know, abandon the situation. Someone who has passed and is supporting you. But there is this energy where you are meant to reach this type of energy also. Very stable, very confident. Conquering. Yeah, conquering. You have to conquer something. You have to conquer your fears, this insecurities, this bullshit. Taurus energy, very stubborn. His foot is on top of a stone, a sculpture. And that's a symbol of conquering. That's the energy that's surrounding you. you. It's trying to support you, it's trying to help you pull through this and maybe even put an end to it. 
this in your hopes and fears, you're hoping for a new beginning, a new beginning, a fresh start, another opportunity, or just for things to be tangible and equal, right? Right? You're going to have this, but you're going to have to... You're going to have to stand for what you believe in. You're going to have to stop engaging. Or stop dealing with something. You're going to have to face something and say, you know what? I am done with you. You are no longer in charge of my destiny. The outcome or the advice is the full go, leave, go. You don't really have to break a generational curse or anything like that. If you don't feel that you're the one who has to do this, okay? But they're telling you that it's just time to pack your bags, leave, well, not your bags, but leave everything behind. related with this and dare to have a new begin. It's time for you to take a leap of faith. Trust. The little white dog is always, you know, your angel guides, your spirit guides. They're telling you, you know, they'll be there with you wherever you go. They will be next, right there next to you, like a faithful companion. And don't forget to be playful and curious, okay? And trust, be confident. Everything will be okay, but you have to just detach yourself from this. You don't have to deal with this type of crap, really. Knight of Swords has free, running free like the wind. Setting yourself loose. Page of Wands, a new beginning. Keep your head up, keep your chin up. Don't be afraid to start all over, okay? Trust, have faith. And then we've got the Emperor, which is Aries energy. And it talks about being confident, support yourself, and you being in charge of your own destiny. No one else. Okay? All right. Let's get additional messages, advice, or warnings from this other deck. Just in case I'm missing something. Or if I'm not seeing something clearly. And then we will close your reading with the Woodland Warden Oracle deck. What other messages do you have for Scorpio regarding this reading or situation? If there's something else you need to know, something else you need to say to Scorpio, what would it be, please? Thank you. Anything else, please, for Scorpio? Thank you, thank you. We've got the Lover's card, which is Gemini energy, and that's the opposite of the Devil. Scorpio, you are meant to be in another's environment. This is not meant for you. This is not divinely meant for you. You're meant to break free, to be in a place where things are more balanced. Okay? These two divine masculine and feminine energies, or Adam and Eve, are not chained or bounded to anything. Okay? You're meant to be in, an, in another environment. Okay, it's not that many, but I'll go quickly with them. Okay. Ace of Cups, this is putting yourself first, self-love, self-support. Whatever you do, do it for you and no one else from now on. This is making yourself a priority. 
putting yourself in first place. Seven of Pentacles, stop investing in a situation that is not giving you anything in return. And stop waiting on something to change. Seven of Swords, that's, you know, you. Just walk away, move away. Usually the Seven of Swords is also seen as sneaky behavior or some trickery going on behind your back. But no, this is just... You know, you're just meant to uh, maybe sneak away from this. Just leave it behind. Don't look back. Three of Wands, be open to receive. Turn your, turn your back on something and understand that there's more out there. New horizons that you must explore. I don't like this energy. This is somewhere else. Something's going to try to stop you or manipulate you. Every time you try to move, I think, don't let it stop you. Not even your own feelings. This energy likes to keep you in control, They're under their control. Don't, don't, don't pay any more attention to it. False promises, false everything. Okay? Don't let it get the best of you. You're meant to see things for what they are. Okay? That's the page of swords. You're meant to see the true reality about things. You have to be true to yourself. You have to learn to be true to yourself. Stop hanging on a false hope. Okay? Start listening to your intuition, please. More Piscean energy. The moon, the hangman, and the high priestess. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. A lot of Piscean energy in your reading, Scorpio. <sighs> Listen to your higher self listen to your higher voice listen to your intuition don't rely on your eyes only rely on your third eye okay rely on your gut feeling if you think that this is no longer for you maybe maybe it's time okay let's close your reading with the woodland warden swirl deck Remember that whatever message comes out of this deck, whether you've, uh, I mean, um, uh, doesn't have to be related or correlated with the reading in any way, shape, or form, okay? Just take it as additional advice that might help you later, somewhere down the road, or your journey. New journey. You're meant to have a new journey in your life. So you got the lizard and the pitcher plant, which means stagnation. That's you staying stuck. Don't stay stuck. Number 12. There you are. So stagnation says, the carnivorous pitcher plant traps its prey with its leaves. The lizard, which may occasionally find itself ensnared in a pitcher plant's trap, has come to represent death and resurrection as it possesses the unique ability to drop its tail when stuck. A new tail can grow in the old one's place, though it is never quite the same as the original. In the upright position, it says that you may be feeling stuck, frozen in place, or without an escape. Reflect on the lizard's ability to shed and regrow its tail. There may be things in your life you can leave behind, making way for new growth. In the reverse, it says that this indicates a lost opportunity. Remember that it's okay to pass on some things, but before you turn away, ask yourself why you may feel adverse or disinterested. What fears, if any, inform your decision? And one important question that you have to ask yourself with this is, what could I drop in order to feel like I am moving forward again? You see, the fool is only carrying a very small bag, you know, just a lunch, you know, 
he had to leave a lot behind. There was a sacrifice. So then he could move on and have a new beginning. This is what you have to do. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, I hope that helps you somehow. But more than anything, I do hope this reading helps you. And it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life. And if you do like it and enjoy it, please do hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. And Scorpio, as usual, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye.